Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how to create a newsletter in SharePoint Online. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Creating a newsletter in SharePoint Online is something very useful and helpful in your company. We will see how you can achieve this goal by using the news web part, and we will explore also a new functionality which allow you to define in which date your news should be available. I'm talking about the publishing date, but let's see together. Here I am on my PC on my Office 365 personal tenant. I have a communication site here already up and running. And here we have the news section, as you can see. Now, how I can create this newsletter digest? Everything comes out of the box from this web part. In fact, if I click on See All, I have this option Email a News Digest. This functionality, as I said, comes with the news web part. This means that you can take advantage by this feature everywhere in a communication site or in a modern team site. Now, if I click on Email a News Digest, I can select which news I want to send. Company, result fiscal year, and then also this one health insurance and guidelines for your business travel. Now, going on next, we have the option to define a name of this digest. Latest news. Then, here we can set up an Office 365 group or a mail distribution list. For this demo, I will set up Ligu. And then here you can type additional text which will appear in the body of the email. Now, another uh, functionality here is to remove a news or define the order of this news. I can move this one in the bottom or move this other one on top. It's up to you. Okay, all good now. I will send this digest. If I click on Send News Digest, this will land to the target that I define it in the, in the text box. Now, switching on the view of Ligu, in the email we can see that a digest is landed. So we have all news that we have seen before. In the future, there will be the option to automatically subscribe to newsletter or unsubscribe. You have also the ability to define the publish date when the news should be available on the site. But we will see this functionality in another video. All right, that was a quick tutorial how to create a newsletter in SharePoint Online. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all. Alright, see you next time, bye!